Let's take it again. And Gene. Yeah. Really explore the studio space this time. You got it, Bruce. I mean, really. Yeah. Explore the space. Okay. I like what I'm hearing. Roll it. Computer, lower the rock cloaking device. <gasps> We're here. My name is Herbert. I got a bird shirt. I'm licking Sherbert. And I go chirp, chirp, chirp. My name is Herbert. What was that? Well, well, well. Jules, what's up, Bubba? Spoiler alert, you know, I just pulled the chassis back out of the head cab. And this is the most Texas sounding Fender I've ever played. I'm leaving it just like this. I'm not going to touch a thing beyond this. This thing sounds wonderful now. A little bit of noise left in the mid pot. That's about it. Let's see if I could work that out. But uh, take a look, you're back to AC heaters, and guess what, Those, that DC supply was only, um, was only supplying about 1.8 volts per side. Unbelievable, right? You're back up to about a 3.2 or about 6.3 going across. So nice and healthy, your bias pot has been relocated. Uh, from the ground uh, switch here, um, position, back to where God intended, or at least Leo intended. And this is a dummy switch. It will not operate. It's the only thing I could do um, that I could uh, I could fit here with the stuff that I had on hand. Um, I had to put a new power switch in there for you. Uh, no worries on that. Um, this was... Uh, the fuse for your DC uh, heater supply. We don't need that. We have two fusible resistors here going to ground as an artificial center tap. Um, I'm going to leave this fuse here off the plate supply. That's a good idea. He already made a hole, so I'm not going to pop that out for something that's that I think is a benefit. So, And it's funny, um, if you ever spend any time in the Middle East, you, you get on a hill and you look into the city... And the more you look, the more um, mosque spires you see sort of projecting out of the, uh, out of the skyline, right? Um, and, and it's much the same with this. Look at that. Just fuses all over the place on this guy. So you're back in business. Just unbelievably beautiful sounding amp now. I corrected. Um, I, I pulled and corrected. The, uh, the, the channel input wiring over here to the mixer resistors, which obviously leads to the phase inverter input cap, and also the uh, plate supply leads. I, um, I, I removed, uh, twisted, and reinstalled them, corrected the lead dress um, to the point where I was able to remove the, um, some of the oscillation suppressor caps off of the, the input grids for your power tubes. I tried that earlier, and she was motorboating pretty bad. Now she's dead quiet. Only some hiss from the old carbon track in the uh, treble pot. And that's what I would expect. That's what I like. There was no buzz in the background whatsoever now. She was a noisy mess before. So um, I, I corrected your heater wiring. Uh, found a ton of solder boulders um, as I was correcting the wiring here. Just rolled out of the board. It was like Indiana Jones. Here's one of them I saved for you. Look at that. But three or four of them just rolled out. Terrible. So, you're in business now. Um, new power tubes installed. Uh, they're super happy. Uh, everything else, good to go. Um, your reverb tank is meant to be horizontally mounted. Rather, uh, vertically mounted. Um, it, it looks like the dude just kind of left the bag at the bottom of the, the head shell cab. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and mount it uh, as, as intended. That, um, if you notice the different part numbers, um, I went over this uh, in a, a previous video in the past about the different um, part numbers, alphanumeric designators on your reverb pans, and um, you can see what it shakes out to be. Um, some of them are meant to be mounted horizontally, face down, others face up, others uh, vertically, and, you know, yada blah, etc. the whole thing. So, there you go. 
I'm, I'm actually gonna do a, um, an audio demo of this one because it just sounds too good. This is this is the sound that you think of when you hear your all your uh, blues heroes, you know? This is the sound. And that's the beauty of this particular amp. And I hope that secret never gets out. I'm gonna say it, nobody's watching this stuff anyway. But I'm gonna tell you guys that these Bandmaster reverbs are the best of all worlds. Unbelievable. Um, oh yeah, Jules, by the way, I got your 215 refrigerator cab. Uh, I'm going to bring her up and, and test her, and then we'll just take it from there, man. Hope all's well. Bye-bye. It's kind of comical. I, I can't get far enough away from this amp <laughs> to capture the, the size of it. And it's loud. Oh my gosh. But so glorious, man. Oh my gosh. No background noise, just a little hiss. I'm going to roll my single coil guitar up. That's what you got. I could kind of wave it around a bit. Ungodly loud. Switch my guitar there. Fender at its best for me. Just the little hairy envelope around the, the notes. Just perfect compression. <laughs> Very touch sensitive. 